This video is sponsored by Purper Festival from Red Deer Games, and they wanted me to go over this festival they're doing right now that gives a bunch of sales that end today. So today's the day to get your hands on it. Various regions here. And you can see we had Cat, Cat's Cosmic Atlas that we advertised last week. But if we look at this, look at all this stuff. We have Sprout Valley, look, 80% off of Uzu Uzu My Pet here, 80% off of Mojito the Cat, 84% off Little Bug, 84% off the virtual pet game here, Cat Tails as well, Dr. Smart. She wants me to look at these incredible sales. They are utterly amazing and definitely something you should be checking out, especially if you're really into, obviously, felines and cats and all of that and just in general as a reminder that it's okay to play some cozy games once in a while so thank you so much for red deer games for sponsoring this video <laughs> Oh boy, guys, remember yesterday, or maybe you don't remember, late last night we put up a video talking about online stuff coming to Super Mario Bros. Wonder. There was some light hints at it, updated to the official Super Mario Bros. Wonder UK website, but those hints weren't really the greatest hints in the world. It left a lot up to interpretation, and as far as we're aware, everywhere the game is listed it says it's just one to four players local online so we speculated this could be leaderboards or a ghost mode sort of like the old school mario kart where you're just chasing other people's time trials or something like that but it turns out a new update to the super mario bros wonder japanese website which would obviously be the most up-to-date website for all things nintendo video game related especially for games being made in japan so it turns out that we might be getting online multiplayer or something like it after all. Holy crud. This is mega news after what we assumed was going to be no online multiplayer at all. Now, before we dive in, just a quick reminder that we're trying to get to 150,000 subscribers this year. So I would just appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel, drop a like, and maybe ringling that dingling for all notifications. I don't know. That's totally up to you. Now, let's get right into this here. You see, we're on the Japanese website at the My Nintendo Store. Yada, yada, yada. I'm going to into my account, but it doesn't like my account. We can scroll down and, and, and see some details here. You know, Mysterious Change Wonder, Adventure with Mario and Friends. There's no really new information other than clay pipes start to move uh, it's whatever this is just you know translating japanese to english which isn't exact but when we get down here this is where things get interesting so it says a paid subscription to nintendo online is required to use save data storage service of course it is in order to install and download products on the console yada yada, yada tells you how to do that the number of players varies on the play mode so tv mode one to four people, table mode, one to four people, and portable mode, which is going to be just one person. However, they updated and added this today. Details of online play will be announced at a later date. Guys, Nintendo, just, just, just read that one more time. Details of online play will be announced at a later date. This is brand new text added to the website today so it does look like there is going to be online play in this game what that online play is we don't know is it going to be able to play the base game with friends online multiplayer we don't know is it going to be a specific game mode a battle mode or a party mode or we don't know but they specifically are saying online play online play isn't leaderboards online play isn't you know time trial racing a ghost online play is you're playing against people online or playing with people online that's what online play is and i am you know what i think this update was probably added to the by the way this clearly would have been planned from the very beginning, so this would be something they've already had in development. But I think they added this update to the official Japanese website for a one reason and one reason only. They saw all the headlines last week detailing how, oh, there won't be online play and there's all this disappointment when really they were just talking about local play and that doesn't necessarily mean there wouldn't be online. They just weren't talking about 
I think they wanted to quelch some of those concerns by putting this update on the official website. Now, when are we going to hear about this online play at a future date? Well, we had speculated we could hear about it as soon as this week with Gamescom coming up. But at Gamescom, it looks like Nintendo's only hosting a Super Smash Bros. tournament. So I wouldn't expect an announcement at opening night live. Maybe we'll get lucky and there will be an announcement there. We will be live stream reacting to opening night live with pretty much next to no expectations for Nintendo to be there. But who knows? Maybe there's a Mario Wonder trailer there. But if not, there's likely going to be something related to Mario Wonder happening at the next Direct, which should be early in September. So with that Direct coming up, I have a feeling they're going to announce the online play modes and features and all that stuff at that Direct. Hence, details will come at a later date. So I'm really, really excited about this. And it finally puts to rest all of our concerns that Nintendo was going to completely ignore online with Mario Wonder. Now, for some of you, you probably don't care about this news. I've seen this when we were talking last week how there might not be online play. It's very interesting looking at this from the perspective of I wasn't going to play it online anyways, so it's good it doesn't have it. I don't, I don't get the good. You could just play the game that way anyways, even if it had online. You don't have to you know, view online as a negative just because it's a feature you're not going to use. It's kind of like playing Splatoon 3, but then saying, oh, they're adding DLC that just affects the single player. Well, I don't care. So then they get rid of single player for Splatoon 4, and you're like, oh, good. It didn't bother me. But it, what about people that enjoy it? Sometimes you got to think about beyond ourselves when it comes to uh, talking about this stuff, but I understand it's really easy to be selfish when it comes to gaming and just life in general and only look inside our little bubble and what's good for us and not really care about anybody else. I tend to try to look outside of that bubble and try to care what other people's desires are when it comes to video game related things. So I'm really excited that we're going to get details of online play. And again, as for what it could be, you know, it could just be straight up online multiplayer like we got in a Mario 3D world when they added that in. It could be... A lot of things, to be completely honest. And I do want to note that there's one correction I want to make on my video yesterday. I said that, you know, because DLC, it looks like this game's going to get DLC. And I said, that is this, you know, this might be the first game, first side-scrolling Mario game with DLC. You guys quickly corrected me. And man, oh man, I don't know how I overlooked this. <sighs> Super Luigi U was DLC for Super Mario Brothers U. I... I literally don't know how I overlooked this. It was sold separately. It was part of the year of Luigi. I don't know what the hell I was doing. Totally forgetting about this DLC that they added to a side-scrolling Mario game. Man, what a brain fart that was. So shout out to everyone in the comments who uh, rightfully and justif justifiably corrected me and thought it was weird that I didn't know about this. I do know about it. Hell, I owned it. I don't know what I was thinking. It is what it is. That's what happens when I'm recording videos late at night, maybe. Or maybe I'm just an idiot sometimes and I make mistakes. Anyway, so thanks so much for those corrections. And let's just give a little bit of final words on all of this. And those are that we've had a, quite a bit of Mario stuff happening lately. Just to sort of recap everything over the last 24 hours so we can head into today. It looks like there's online stuff coming to Super Mario Bros. Wonder, right? That was a big thing today. We have some clarification. It's probably going to be a play mode. It's probably going to be online multiplayer. That's looking really promising. And then on top of that, we have Charles Martinet, for those that missed that news, is stepping down as the voice of Mario. He's going to just stay on full-time at Nintendo as a Mario ambassador and travel around the world promoting Mario. But uh, he is stepping down, and obviously Super Mario Bros. Wonder, we already had a lot of suspicions that he wasn't the voice actor in this game. I think this basically confirms it. And you know what? Thank you so much to Charles Martinet for all of your hard work. Thank you to, for, to Nintendo for creating what looks to be a very inventive and exciting side-scrolling Mario game. And uh, thank you to Nintendo again for putting hope, at least, in, in our hearts and in our minds for online multiplayer and I know for me personally, that makes a big deal at launch because it means I could actually be playing Super Mario Bros. Wonder at launch with all of you. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll catch you in the next video.